This is what happens every day. From morning to night, I run my mouth. I wonder where you got that from. I wonder where I got that from. Okay, I don't wonder. I already know. My dad, right there on the... Right across from me, right across the table. Notorious <laughs> talker. Notorious talker. Yeah. If you spend every Saturday with me, you know what I'll. When e okay, after the program Saturday night, guess what I do? Well, Sunday too, but guess what I do? Every Saturday night. We have our own party. Okay. You're probably wait, saying wait, but your dad doesn't does not drink. How can you have a party without alcohol? I'll tell you one thing. There are ways to have parties without alcohol. All you can all you get well there are two and there are ways to have ways to have parties with two people. We've done it plenty of times. All, all you have to have is the right equipment. You have to have music. <laughs> um, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. A microphone, of course, for your surely. <laughs> and, um, well, I won't say lights because whenever I sing Thriller, I always turn the lights completely off. On occasions beat it, I have one light on. But... That's what I do every single Saturday. I come to my dad's house. Okay, after. Well, I won't say completely after. Like, later. Okay, when it becomes nighttime, you already know. Once I go to YouTube, it's on. It's on. I'll start turning karaoke on. Start dancing. Bringing out my best move. Which, okay, I have to admit, won't be Michael Jackson, but it's, to me, it's good. <laughs> My best move won't be Michael Jackson's move, but, yeah, you get me. Okay, so, this morning, I was, so, I didn't, like, wh I just started, I was thinking of what I was going to say. I woke up, I just started talking. <laughs> I did not even think about saying anything. I just said it out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere. I was just under the covers in the same room. I was on the, and probably I was exactly right here in the same spot, but yeah, I was, I was just thinking of something to say. I was going to say something, but I was like, Wait a sec. <laughs> He's probably seen that when he was younger, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna think of something else. Let me think. Oh, <laughs> so I was thinking of how how old was he when he first saw locks? These locks. <laughs> well, in other words, colorful locks. Yes, by colorful locks, I mean my hair is dyed. Yes. So was my mom's. So, so, yeah. So, something I have to, I have to admit. I'm sometimes mad at my friends, but I can't blame them for thinking that my dad, my dad is my grandpa. I was like, wait, huh? I was like, what in the world do you mean? But ev eventually, my friend caught on. Okay, that okay, that's her dad. <laughs> so when me and my we get, to, <coughs> we get to bring our toys to school every Friday. So I was playing with my friend. I was like, gotta go. He was she was like, that's your dad. I was like, yeah. <sighs> You're like, eh. Everybody knows. Okay. Uh, okay, everybody in my class finally caught on. That is my dad, not my grandpa. 
bad is. I think sometimes my um there's one there's one person well, I won't say one person as the only person, but there's a person at my school that's like in seventh grade that has locks. Her hers are long but they're not dyed like mine. They would think that's my sister. I was like, Asaria is not my sister. I'll, she's actually someone else's sister. I know where people would literally think that. That I was her sister. But the people on my bus know that, okay, yeah, that's not her sister because she gets off at one stop and Asaria gets off at another stop, but... But yeah, some people would, would think that, that I'm her sister. Like, I am not a sorry a sister. But yeah, okay, I have to admit something that was very funny the first day of school. Some people would think Miss Maynard was my mom. I would be tell, because Miss Maynard has my teacher, well, my first grade teacher and my third grade teacher, which is now, ha has locks just like me. Just, of course, Miss Maynard's hair is curled, and mine is just straight. Just, just, just growing free, straight, not curled. But some people would think that that was my mom. I would be telling them that is, I was telling them that is not my mom. Miss Maynard is not my mom. They would really think that on the first day of school, that's what everybody thought. Well, it wouldn't be the first day, but when Miss Maynard came, they thought, wait a second, that, wait, that has to be your mom. I was like, no, it's not. It is not my mom. But Miss your Maynard. mom does have locks. But my mom, of course, does have locks, or she wouldn't know how to get my hair like this. Because, okay, she is a stylist herself. She does... She does hair herself, so yeah. And it's something you won't believe what she wants for her birthday. She wants to do my hair for her birthday. I was, I was saying, I was saying, no, it's your birthday. She was like, I have to look at you. I was like, okay, you make a pretty good point. Who's coming up on Black Lunch? But yeah, up, up next is Sister Mary and Sister Brenda. Out of Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. So, so yeah. Oh, but yeah. So, so yeah. Okay, I have to tell you guys one secret to doing TV. You don't play. You don't read the script. Then it doesn't sound like you're going. Uh, the cow went to the. Cause I just I literally just talk freely. I'm just saying stuff at him. I just think about it. Like sometimes I'm trying to. In my mind, I'm not showing it, but I'm like panicking in my mind. What am I gonna say tomorrow? What am I gonna say tomorrow? And then it turns out okay, cause I already. Okay, I have something to start out with, and then I break my, I break my way down to other stuff. But yeah, uh, yeah. Even when I'm like at the end of the program, like saying who's up next, I just already know. Okay, yeah, this week is so and so. Who's next week? But, but yeah, next week is. I already know who next week is. Ross Marvin doing TV. So, yeah. And then who next? And then, well, three weeks from now is... The unknown sister. Un unknown teacher. And we know, we know she's a female because... We know that, but un 
We don't know who that is. So yeah, fourth week is brother Sid brother Siddiqui out of Philly. Out of Philly. Oh, so yeah, he made the hip hop music that we play during the breaks. So yeah, like I just think with my mind. I mean, even even telling you about the ACLU, okay, like this morning I was saying it, like, like I was thinking, what am I going to talk about today? I was writing it down on a piece of paper what I was going to talk about today. I was like, wait, I was like, so I was saying, so my dad was asking me, what does ACLU ACLU stand for. Uh, I was okay. I wasn't exactly looking at the initials when I was saying it, but the second time I said it, I said American Civil Liberty Union. I was like, okay, I got that right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not like reading the paper saying that. I already know. Okay, yeah, ACLU. Yeah, I'm not reading the paper. Even at the end of the program, who's next? I already know. Well, I know the day before, but. But, but yeah. I do like to run my mouth, so. Yeah, I do. This is what you hear every day. <laughs> But yeah, but yeah, this is what you hear every single day. <laughs> well, next week we'll squeeze. Next week we'll plug up the juicer, squeeze some oranges. I have, I have an extension cord right here. I can. It's easy to plug it up and show you. I juice oranges. Do not think I juice. Do not think. I'm lying. I juice oranges. <laughs> I can crank up a juicer anytime. You just give me the. You just gotta cut the oranges in half and hand them to me. But yeah, I can juice oranges anyhow. And there's nothing to it. All you have to do is have the juicer for one. Have the oranges, grapefruits, or tangelos, or tangerines. We'll try to have them all. We'll try to have them all here. We'll try to have them all here. Yeah, of course, you're going to need fruit. Okay, yeah, we juice some fruit. And then, next thing you're going to need is, of course, well, if you're my size, one hand, but like when I was about six or five, two hands. <laughs> Yeah, I can. if you're doing a grapefruit, you might have to use two hands, unless you are an adult. Because grapefruits, okay, grapefruits are this big. Grapefruits are this big. So, yeah. Grapefruits are this big, and my hand is this big. Yeah. I have to use two hands to juice a grapefruit, but anything else, I can juice it with one hand. And oranges, uh, yeah, I have to juice it with two hands. But yeah. Okay. These. Yeah, watch. Well, I want to run my mouth for, but. Okay, it's close to 11 o'clock. I gotta run this program down. Okay, up next is the Black Line Nintendo Classroom. Sister Mary and Sister Brenda. I would like to thank the UNIA ACL Festival on the Black Learning Channel. Was too cold to grow. Buy it from the store. And, well, I want to keep running my mouth, but I'd say bye.